up guys it's uh friday the uh 19th tomorrow will be about a week on the will be a week on the road from when we left um we're just on the uh outskirts outskirts of uh the uh oregon idaho border um on a river called whatever i'll put it up here because i can't pronounce it so can't remember um pretty much um this is the first spot where i'm like this is what i was thinking of when i decided to do this um our actually our first night or not our first night but our second night um was a pretty good spot in bend just on the side of the road we weren't really sure if we were supposed to park there or not but we did no problems um but tonight i don't know you can see we're right there just right there on the river, and then down a little farther where you see that parking lot is, there is a hot spring that water comes in that is super hot. Um, they made kind of like a little pool down there where the cold water mixes the hot water, but um, it felt pretty good at night. Uh, we're gonna try it out this morning. There's spots where it was super hot and you had to jump out really quick. Um, but I uh, climbed up to the top of this ridge just to get a nice little picture we're here with uh, the boy. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Oh, there you go. Um, and I thought I'd just give you guys a, uh, week one update. It's been a little rough, but it's been a hell of a time. Um, it's made up for it. Uh, this spot, we went to three spots yesterday before we finally found this spot. Um, and it was well worth it after we found those hot springs, uh, last night and went and kind of washed off after a long, hot, sweaty day. Um, so week one on the road has been... A blast so far um and we're not even out of oregon yet uh we're hoping probably to drive into idaho tomorrow um we don't really know max don't really know where we're gonna go from there um well, we know we're heading to yellowstone but um we're probably gonna go into boise uh wife really wants to find a place with the showers so we might pay for a uh, campground we're trying to keep that to about once a week and tomorrow will be about a week so we might do it twice this week but um most of the time we want to just boondock at uh, free places. Um, what else can I tell you on the road? Driving the bus really isn't as hard as I thought it was, uh, or thought it was going to be. What else can I say about the first week? I would definitely say, I mean, as everybody probably already knows, traveling on the road with kids is definitely a little bit harder. Um, pretty much they control when we stop almost a little bit. You know, when they start freaking out, we just say, okay, let's start, find a spot, and we stop and chill and if we don't like the spot then we'll move on and then when we forget again we stop again um but it makes it for makes it kind of interesting because you just kind of stop and um in places that maybe you wouldn't stop if uh you were just trying to get to you know point a um as far as today goes uh we're going to as soon as they wake up um i've been for some reason on the bus going to sleep whenever everybody else goes to sleep as soon as the sun comes up i wake up um kind of was waiting to watch the kind of the sunset here i might have missed it it's right around that corner right there but you might be able to see it on this here soon um i will say um not speaking for the rest of my family but as far as me this is what I, you know i've always been i've had I guess it's not several different jobs, but I've just been always looking for what I'm supposed to do in life or what I want in life. I tell you, whatever this is, is probably it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to find this to be a way to uh, live and make money, but um, if something's a dream, I guess the way I've been thinking lately is just go after it. I mean, before I've been such you know responsibility has been driven so much into me to uh be responsible and take care of my family and provide and all that kind of stuff and not to say that you shouldn't do that but um not if it doesn't make you happy because um it wasn't what we were doing i was not happy um just working the eight to five most people probably some people are most people are probably aren't even if you aren't search for that or follow your dreams you know i mean you know, that's such a cliche thing to say but really um the longer I've been on the road, the more I'm just like, just do it because, um, you know, maybe we run out of money on this trip. 
um, or maybe we run out of money trying to travel all 50 states to trying to do this, but money comes and goes, memories like this just um, last forever. Um, and that's not my saying. I, I read that somewhere and I love that, um, you know, money comes and goes because it really does. But these memories, my kids will remember for uh, my oldest probably will remember, my youngest, maybe not so much, but we'll have videos and pictures and stuff like that I can see. But me and my wife will remember this forever. Um, so, well, I'm going to try to make this uh, trek back down. I don't know if you can see how high up I am. It was not too bad. I was more afraid of him. He tried to uh, jump up a rock that uh, when I, he was trying to get to me. I had to show him the path. I figured his instinct would show him, but apparently not. Huh. What do you see? You're watching the bus to make sure nobody uh, is going to mess with uh, mom and kids. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Okay. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Say hi to camera. Say bye. Max. Say bye. Ready? Max. Hey, hey, what's this? What's this? Say bye, bye people. No? Alright.